evening and welcome to this edition of Newsletter on 6. Today is Thursday, April 14, 2011. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Chip Ramsey with the Saturday Independent Newspaper. In tonight's news, Tennessee sales tax collections grew 8% in March. Coffee County School Board members settle on a new site for a new county middle school. Governor Haslam signs a new teacher tenure reform bill into law. And Tullahoma's Board of Mayor and Aldermen approve funding for repaving of a portion of Anderson Street. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. We'll be right back. Your wife has given you the most precious gift you have, your family. She does so much to make every moment special for you and your children. This Mother's Day, show her your love and appreciation with beautiful jewelry from Woodard's Diamond Showroom. Whether it's with gold and diamonds, pearls or colored gems, remind her of the path you've traveled together. She surprises you in subtle ways every day. Isn't it time you return the favor in a big way? There's one place women of all ages can find the care they need. The Women's Center at Hartman Regional Medical Center. We're a full-service women's center with comprehensive obstetrical and gynecological surgery. Our excellent customer satisfaction rate is a reflection of our commitment to excellence. To serve you even better, we've now remodeled our facility. Our family-friendly birth center features private labor, delivery, and recovery suites. For every stage of your life, we're there for you. The Women's Center at Hartman Regional Medical Center. Stan McNabb is now the home of oil changes and tires for life. You heard right. When you purchase a new or pre-owned vehicle from any Stan McNabb dealership, you receive oil changes and tires for as long as you own your vehicle. This could save you hundreds, even thousands of dollars over the life of your vehicle. We appreciate our customers and are happy to offer these oil changes and tires for life. Peace of mind. Guaranteed. And don't forget, if anyone can, Stan can. Welcome back. Tennessee sales tax collections grew 8% in March, the highest rate in five years. State Finance Commissioner Mark Ems called the revenue numbers a strong indication of consumer optimism. Sales tax account, sales taxes rather, account for two out of every three tax dollars collected in Tennessee. The last time the growth rate exceeded 8% was in February 2006. Meanwhile, corporate franchise and excise taxes came in at $22 million below estimates in the month, but are still $32 million above projections for the year. March is the eighth month of the state's budget year. General fund collections have exceeded ex expectations by $133 million since the budget, budget year began on July 1, 2010. In a surprise move on Monday, Coffee County School Board members rejected two proposed locations for a planned new middle school, instead opting for a track that had earlier been withdrawn from consideration. By a 4-3 margin, the board voted to buy a 40-acre track off of Highway 53 North near the existing New Union Elementary School. Assisting school, Assistant Schools Director Joe Keith Pettigo says the so-called Caldwell property will be bought for $12,000 an acre, a total of some $480,000. He, he says adjacent land could be secured in the future. Members Reggie Johnson, Ricky Milburn, Marilyn Morris, and Kathy Norton voted for the deal. Members Janet Gallion, Brett Henley, and Esther Sims voted against the motion. Alternate locations off Highway 41 North and Highway 55 were rejected. Pettigo says the location must undergo site testing and meet code requirements. He says construction won't start for at least a year. Pettigo says the middle school will initially handle 1,200 students and could be expanded for an enrollment of 1,500. A crowd of supporters packed the old Supreme Court chambers Tuesday as Governor Bill Haslam signed his tenure reform bill into law, marking his first legislative victory as governor. This historic legislation marks a major education reform milestone in a process that began last year with the bipartisan first-to-the-top legislation. Governor Haslam said, quote, If Tennessee is going to become the number one location in the southeast for high-quality jobs, then it is critical that we improve education because businesses are looking to compete with employees educated for the 21st century workplace, end quote. The legislation changes a teacher's probationary period before becoming eligible for tenure from three years to five years, as well as links tenure status to performance evaluations. The legislation also gives principals the flexibility to keep a non-tenured teacher after the five-year period. Previously, a teacher would either receive tenure or be fired after three years. 
Tillamah Mayor Troy Bisbee is recommending that the city double its paving budget for the upcoming year. Paving projects, which are normally budgeted at around $250,000 a year, has been cut back over the last three years due to sharp declines in tax collections due to the economy. Mayor Bisbee is recommending that Tullahoma budget a half a million dollars this year to pave city streets. Public Works Director Wayne Limbo advised the board that it would take $10 million to pave all the streets that the city is responsible for maintaining. Limbo also said it would take 40 years to get around to all the streets based on past paving allocations. The board approved $287,500 at Monday night's meeting to pave Anderson Street from Highway 55 to Wartendorf Highway. Resurfacing of North Washington Street from Kings Lane to the underpass began yesterday. And stay with us. More news later on 6 coming up right after this. This is J.D. Oliver here at the Smokehouse on Mont Eagle Mountain. My sisters Betsy, Nancy, and I would like to thank you for supporting our family business for over 50 years. Hello, this is Stella Parton, and I am standing here right in the middle of Jim Oliver's Smokehouse Restaurant. But you need to come in here. We just got through doing a show. We also have a music scene going on here, and I want to invite you to come down because it is your mountain destination. Music on the mountain in Mont Eagle, Tennessee. My name's Betsy Oliver. I'm the kitchen manager here. We serve a lot of ribs and barbecue and fried chicken. Hey, this is Sean Mayer, and I just want to let everybody know to stop in at the Smokehouse if you're ever on your way to Chattanooga or Nashville. They not only have a great gift shop, awesome food, great entertainment on Saturday nights, but beautiful cabins to stay in. Check it out. Make the Smokehouse your mountain getaway destination. Stay in one of our 84 lodge rooms and 20 timber frame log cabins. Look around our trading posts and eat in our delicious restaurant. Enjoy music on the mountain every Saturday night featuring the best of Nashville. Our family hopes to see you this year at Jim Oliver's Smokehouse. Tullahoma Drug has a gift for keeping well. You know about prescriptions, but there's so much more to tell. There's a gift for all occasions, for body, soul, and mind. Cards to show you care, gifts to show your kind. There are remedies and recipes and treats you'll want to eat them. Stacks of books from famous cooks and spectacles to read them. Shades and frames, puzzles, games, dishes, plates, and mugs. We're a Tullahoma treasure. We are Tullahoma Drug. Telahoma Surgery Center is Telahoma's newest and most complete surgical health care facility. The center combines state-of-the-art surgical care with efficient, affordable, and community-based outpatient service. The staff is committed to providing the highest quality care in a warm, personalized setting. The goal is to deliver excellent care and make your visit a pleasant experience. Telahoma Surgery Center, the area's premier surgery center dedicated to outpatient surgery. Welcome back. Keep Coffee County Beautiful completed a huge landscaping project last Saturday at South Jackson Civic Center. John Gray was there watching all the work and brings us this video. So there's all kinds of things getting ready to happen here. New bushes being put out and there's a big pile of mulch over there and there's machines running. And there's been a new water line run out over here to uh, make sure all this stuff can stay alive. There's Mayor Bisbee right there. Hauling a pile of mulch. It's always good to see the, the folks in charge lending a helping hand. In the front of the building, that, that a lot of cleanups are going to be done and great. Uh, Great help here, and plants lined up where they're going to go, and people working for South Jackson Civic Center in the city of Tullahoma. Make things pretty around here. And again, this is early Saturday morning, and we're going to see just how, how much, how far we get here today. 
This is, uh, of course, Scott Rydell, and he's the uh, executive director of Peacock County. Beautiful. We'll visit with him a little later on in the afternoon and just see how things went. It ain't working very well for me. All right, folks, this is, we're back with Scott again, and uh, this is after the end of a, of a long, hard day at South Jackson. And Scott, how about giving us a report on how things have gone today? Well, we're getting done by the end of the wire. It may not be exactly like everybody wants it, but it's as good as it can get today. Uh, we might have to come back later, but it's, right now it's as good as we can get it. Um, Looks pretty good. Had about 25, 30 volunteers show up. Some stayed longer than others. Uh, feel like we got a whole lot done. I think the people telehome will notice a big and practical reaction when they drive by. Well, Scott, thank you for your hard work, buddy. And I know it's been a long day for you. Uh, you need a good cold, good cold glass of iced tea and a front porch swing. Cool, gold, good, good cold fluid, no matter what you're talking about. There yeah, you go. You know. Scott, but, thank you, buddy, for all you do. Yeah, appreciate it. And here's the new bed at the sign entering South Jackson and what a wonderful statement this will make for our town as people come into town from Manchester and Winchester and turn on Jackson Street and see the new landscape South Jackson Civic Center. Thank you Keep Coffee County Beautiful and all the volunteers who came to South Jackson Civic Center this morning. John Gray signing out. Tullahoma Fine Arts Center is proud to announce the opening of a new exhibit by local artist Yvonne Long. The exhibit will run from April 16th through April 30th with an opening party on the 16th from 6 to 9 p.m. Hors d'oeuvres will be provided by Fast Jacks and beverages provided by Beans Creek Winery and Mid-South Distributing. The public, is, the public is invited to the event to enjoy great art and a great time with the awakening of the reawakening of the Tullahoma Fine Arts Center. As we reported on Tuesday, PetSense celebrated the grand opening of their new Tullahoma store last Saturday. Jim spoke with the company's vice president about the organization of the store's grand openings. Ladies and gentlemen, we're speaking now with Mary Flintman and Todd Lewis, who are part of the corporate team this morning here at uh, PetSense. And tell us about how, how this grand opening came down today. You, you guys, I think, travel around and sort of make these things happen. I travel, I'm the VP of operations, and I travel around to all of the grand openings. And what I do is we, we, we believe in a family, fun, filled company. And what I do is I'll come in on Fridays, and then Friday nights I take the store manager, the assistant manager, and their spouses out to dinner. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday morning we go to a local breakfast. We mm -hmm. try and find a local place. We don't want chains and that. And the whole entire store goes out to breakfast in the morning. And we introduce them to each other. And even though they've worked together, we talk about what they've done. We talk about the opportunities within PetSense. And then we all come here and get the grand opening together. And I'll stay through Sunday and just help with the grand opening, customer service, um, cashiering if I need to. I bathe dogs before, I cut nails, whatever needs to be done, we do. And Todd, everybody, uh, all the staff in here today, said, I'm smiling and you're here to make help with that. So I guess this concept must work pretty good. Oh, yes, it does. I mean, it's a, it's a great company to work for. Um, the best people to work for and work with. Um, you know, it's just absolutely a wonderful place to be. There's never a day that you get up in the morning and don't want to come to work. So it's, it's just a wonderful place to be. You, you said Mary came in and lost all the little things. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we have such a good working relationship. We, we like to have a good time. And I have a theory if you can't come to work and, and get along and have fun with the people you work with, there's no reason to be there. So, um, and that's what we have. Well, where are you guys? I'm, I'm from Scotts. I'm based on Scotts Hill, Arizona. I'm originally from Scotts. And um, I'm originally from Florida, but I live in the Cleveland, Tennessee area. Oh, okay. So you're from Yes, I am. Okay. All right. Well, it's a great addition to our community here in Tallahassee. You know, everybody's smiling here today. Everybody's having a great time. Yes. And uh, I, we can uh, blame you guys for that. Yep. Yes. Absolutely. Hopefully. Absolutely. We're excited to be in Tallahassee. Obviously, yes. it's making it work. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And stay tuned. More news later on 6 is coming up straight ahead. Our office used to look like this. But now with my paper-free office from RJ Young, it's easy. We've made all of our files electronic and stored them in our virtual filing cabinet, which gave us tons of space. And Bob here, a big promotion. Melissa can pull files in minutes and spend hours on Facebook. And Kyle's confidential uh, files stay confidential. Uh, we're not totally paper-free, right? Thank you. My paper-free office from RJ Young. It's that easy. 
Since 1985, Life Communications and Security has been a household word in Middle Tennessee, mainly because people trust and believe in Life Communications and Securities in the work they do. Led by owner Jeff Wooten, LCS has continued to grow and earn the support of their many customers. When we ask businesses and homeowners who they put their trust in, these are the answers we receive. Tommy Anderton with Traders Bank. When it comes to security and communications, we call Life Communications. For all of our security needs at First Vision Bank, we call Life Communications. Communication. Life communications is a small investment for us to take care of our major investment. Knowing this, why would you ever call anyone else for your security or communications needs? Call Life Communications and Security at 931-455-9016 or 1-866-535-9016. That's Life Communications and Security. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. The Young Life Program in Tullahoma is continuing its efforts to improve the lives of young folks in our area. Young Life is a program that starts with adults who are concerned enough about kids to go to them on their turf and in their culture, building bridges of authentic friendship. According to Young Life officials, these relationships don't happen overnight. They take time, patience, trust, and consistency. So Young Life leaders log many hours with kids where they are and as they are. They listen to their stories and learn what's important to them because they genuinely care about their joys, triumphs, heartaches, and setbacks. Kids' lives are dramatically impacted when caring adults come alongside them, sharing with them God's love. Because their young life leader believes in them, they begin to see that their lives have great worth, meaning, and purpose. John Gray spoke with local young life leader Scott Smith at the annual Young Life Banquet held last week. Young Life, and Scott, what are you doing tonight, fella? We are having our third annual Young Life Tri-Lakes Banquet, and we're trying to raise some money for the ministry we do with students here in Tullahoma and uh, really the surrounding area. All right, and this is happening at the Markham Business Center, and listen to that cheer. That's our kids over there. What is, love it. What is, what is Young Life all about, Scott? Young Life is a world-class organization for high school students and middle school, middle school students. We've been around for almost 70 years. Uh, we basically spend time in the lives of kids, earning the right to be heard, building real friendships with them, and then sharing with them uh, fun, adventure, and what we believe is the greatest message ever, that God loves them as they are, not as they should be. Well, Scott, we hope you have a great event tonight, and thank you for bringing this to Tullahoma, and help. we hope it's successful here for Thank you. you. There's an awful lot of people that brought it here. It wasn't me, so I, thank I you. I understand, thank and you. we appreciate your time, and good luck. Thank you very much. children and giving them a big round of applause and thanking them for their participation in their lives. Young life. Sure was fun. And the pet of the week this week at the Tullahoma Animal Shelter is an all-American mix named Maddie available for adoption. She is approximately 16 months old and gets along well with other dogs and children. Maddie is current on her vaccination and is heartworm negative. She will receive a free spay at the Middle Tennessee Spay and Neuter Clinic in Shelbyville provided by the Unitarian Universalist Church of Tullahoma. Nala, the Labrador mix from last week, is still waiting for a good home. Remember, microchipped identification is available to all dogs adopted for a $10 or greater donation to the shelter. For more details, contact Teresa at 454-9580. State law also requires a $25 deposit, which is refundable upon proof that the adopted pet has been neutered or spayed. Please visit the shelter right away to choose your pet. The shelter has an ongoing need for donations of dog food, collars, leashes, treats, stainless steel food bowls, and monetary donations to provide medical care. The shelter greatly appreciates all donations. The Tullahoma Animal Shelter is located at 942 Maplewood Avenue. 
In the Coffee County Humane Society's featured pet of the week this week is a dog named Shep. Shep is a collie mix and appears to be in good health. The shelter also has many other dogs available for adoption at 1210 Oakdale Street in Manchester. Hours of operation at the shelter are 7.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. The shelter's telephone number is 723-2711 or 723-2730. That's a 931 area code. Donations for animal care can be made to the Coffee County Humane Society. Uh, care of P.O. Box uh, 252, Manchester, Tennessee, 37349. Their website is www.coffeehumane.org. And don't forget, uh, this Saturday, Dog Days of Summer Adoption start this, this Saturday at... Uh, 2081 Hillsborough Boulevard in Manchester, across from the old Southern Family Market building. Hours are 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And in addition to that, there will be a yard sale to benefit the Coffee County Humane Society on Friday and Saturday, April 15th to 16th, at the same location. John Gray and I have been wondering what our colleague Chip Ramsey does when he's not appearing on this show or producing the Saturday Independent. John went undercover recently and caught up with Chip at the brew in Manchester. Let's watch. Chip, I'm, I'm quite impressed. Uh, I'm not, I, we had no idea you had that much yeah. talent. Well, I had no idea you are going to do that. Thanks for embarrassing me. <laughs> no problem. We are, we're always that, glad man. to do that. And we'll be right back with today's sports news right after these announcements. On June 7, 1944, he stormed the beaches in Normandy, where he saw his close friend killed in action. He was awarded the Purple Heart and six Bronze Service Stars. He met General Dwight D. Eisenhower, he sailed home in 1945, where the love of his life anxiously awaited his safe return. Meet Gordon Browning Grooms. Real people, real heroes. Life Care Centers of America. Not on my shift quickly. Brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's going to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor's stats. Citizens Tri-County Bank has offices in Tullahoma. 
and for your banking convenience, offices all across this region. At Citizens Tri-County Bank, we listen when you tell us what you want in banking. So at our beautiful new Telehoma downtown office at 201 North Jackson Street, enjoy the kids' playroom, home-like fireplace sitting area, drive up 24-7 ATM, ample parking, and lighted and camera monitored drive throughs Citizens Tri-County Bank, the only community bank you'll ever need. Welcome back. The Motlow Bucks salvaged one win during a three-game series against Volunteer State this past weekend, capturing Saturday's double-header opener 4-3 to three behind an outstanding pitching effort by sophomore Jeremy Estill. The Bucks, who now stand at 13-20 and 20 for the year and 6-11 in conference play, dropped Friday's series opener 13-6, to six, then fell 9-2 to two in Saturday's contest. Second contest. Saturday's opener featured everything the Bucks head coach Dan McShay expects from his team, solid pitching, error-free defense, and timely hitting. Estill, who is 2-2 two and two on the year, scattered 10 hits, but walked only two, two batters and struck out six. Aaron Pearson provided the big hit, a two-run homer, while Cameron Jones and Michael Watkins each had a double and drove in a run. We'll be back in just a moment with your weather forecast. Stay tuned. Smoking tobacco accounts for three of every ten fire deaths in the United States. Need you en route to a structure fire, 202 Main Street. Heavy smoke showing. Neighbors advise child trapped inside. Lighters, matches, and associated smoking paraphernalia are the leading cause of preschooler fire deaths. We as firefighters know that most structure fires can be prevented. I've got one! I've got one! Command, this is primary search. We have a victim. Need EMS to meet us at the front door. Please help us to give you a fighting chance. This can be prevented. Contact the Tullahoma Fire Department for a free home safety inspection. Hi, Grandma. It's Jake. I'm, I'm calling to tell you, you I love you more than anything in the whole wide world. Even ice cream. I love you more than spaghetti and meatballs. I love you more than snakes and monkeys and sharks mm -hmm. and whales and prey mantises. Uh, bye, Grandma. Love you. Let it all in with Charter Phone, including unlimited local and long-distance calls. Here at Russell Barnett Kia, we do not have any dancing hamsters, nor do we have any sock monkeys, but we do have the guaranteed lowest price on all new Kias. Come by and check out this all-new 2010 Sporty Kia Soul for $17,995. Or check out this new redesigned 2011 Kia Sportage. No sock monkeys, no dancing hamsters, just guaranteed low prices here at Russell Barnett Kia. My question is, why buy anywhere else? Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1936 at 84 degrees. The record low was in 1959 at 28 degrees. The average high on this day is 69, and the average low is 45. For tonight, look for some increasing clouds with a low of around 54. Isolated thunderstorms in the forecast for Friday with a high of 72 and a low of 53 and some rain expected for Saturday with a high of 63 and a low of 42. And that's our news leader report for this evening. We invite you to join us on each Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday at 6, 8 and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening. Have a good night.